Hello everybody, good day to you all. Today I am talking about Dr. Stone, season number one, episode number seven, where two million years have gone. This episode, in this episode here, you have Sinku and Kohaku working together. Now, Kohaku pretty much told um, Sinku that she likes him, and Sinku took that in a weird way, and that made him very, things very weird and uncomfortable, but she, Sinku... Her, um, Kowaku managed to take Sinko back to her village where her other, where other people are and, and Sinko sees the opportunity to much convert more people to, to, to the world of science and so he can pretty much help them and stop them from um, and go up against um, to, um, to Saka from pretty much trying to pretty much destroy the world because he wants the world to stay primitive where he can rule and but you got, you got Sinko here he wants to save everybody and bring the world back to the way science is and, he, uh, and not only does Kowaku um, Kohaku showed him to, 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 um, to his village. He also meets another person who's in the science, Chrome. But now, the is, since Chrome is a native, he pretty much almost like a savage in a way. He is smart and he's very intelligent, but the thing is, though, he doesn't know what science is, and he thinks what he's doing is sorcery and magic. And you have Sinko who's pretty much trying to educate him, letting him know exactly what's going on, what happens to the world, and stuff like that, too. And in the process, they also find out about um, Kohaku's sister, Rory, who's very sick. So not only is Sinku managed to get more people to, to get on board with with his plans to, with, with science, he also has a, like a, like a new science assistant and as well with Chrome, who's also eager to learn, and he also loves science as well too. And and the first thing they're going to do is try to cure um Kuhako's sister Rory using antibiotics. Looking forward to seeing that episode. The, uh, what I like about this episode, you get, you get introduced to new, the new characters, and we also get introduced to people who pretty much grew up in this world, of, 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 of in a stone world. This is all they know. This is all they know. So they're like they're like they're smart. They're, they're they're far more advanced than the cavemen, but at the same time, there's still a whole lot they don't, they don't know or understand, and and they don't know what science is exactly yet. To them, it's just all magic. We have a sinkhole there. With this village, helping them out and helping them, helping them prosper, because we can slowly see them become part of his team and to stop to, 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 to Saka from his from his, um, his reign of terror. So not only I want to say, not, no no action really happened. It was it was at the funny moments in here. I really did enjoy. I really do like Chrome as a character. I mean all the other side characters too. You had these two guys here who was guarding the gate and keeping out outsiders. Even though they don't show them that much, they don't have a lot, lot to do. But I did like them the, the parts that they play and, and, what, and what they did. They brought a little bit of comic relief to, to the table as well too, with especially with the, with the younger one. And then you had the older, the older one who was a little bit more stone and stoic. But Sinclair managed to get him on board when he made it the blade out of gold. So that was that was fun. I'm looking forward to seeing the, um, the older man character as well because he's because he's part of the introduction and you see him shoot like, shoot like a fireball or something like that. So I'm looking to see where, where that where that goes and what and what he's going to bring to the table. So now we got two guys working on science, which is instead we prepare single, but one now we have two and we also have maybe a possible love English for Cinco with um um Kuhaku, maybe maybe not. Even though he said he thinks love is a waste of time, but we'll see where that goes. We will see. Because not only is she she's, she's, she's smart, she's capable, she's strong, she's also very beautiful as well, too. So, let's see where that goes. Because what, what um, Sinku lacks in, in, in physical strength, he makes up that with an intelligence. And what, she, and what she doesn't know, she can she can fight, and she's also very, very strong. So, they actually balance each other out pretty quite well. If they have a child, that child would be amazing. So, that's the both worlds. They're still not as strong as um, Tsusaku. I don't know why he's that boy so strong. It's weird. It's really freaky how, how strong he is. It's like, it, feel, it feels like Sinku is, is, is mentally strong and, so, and Tsusaku is physically strong. Yes, he's smart as well too. But it's, it's like how smart Sinku is, Tsusaku is, is physically capable of doing the same thing. That's, 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 that's how, how they balance it out. It's like Superman and Lex Luthor. Lex Luthor may not be physically as strong as Superman, but he's mentally as strong. So, let's see, let's, now, now we're going to need to find out if um, Sasaku is going to find any other people who he can join on his side as well, too. To grow his little world. Because we, because we didn't see um, um, Taiju or um, his girlfriend's episode. And most of the focus on Senko and the new people, and, and Kohaku and her people. So... 
enjoyed the story, enjoyed the new characters. Animation, like I said, has always, has always been amazing. So, great, another great episode. So leave your comments down below. Let me know what you thought of this episode of Dr. Stone. And if you haven't been watching it, check it out for yourself. Hopefully when you watch it, you will enjoy it. And have fun watching it too. So give my channel a big like, hit the thumbs up, shaboop, and subscribe to my channel and share. I would appreciate it. Like I always say in my dreams of life, I am the Ninja Rabbit. Uh, peace out. Uh, peep.